Hi, it's Larry the Llama here. How are you doing? I'm no pacifist, right? You gotta fight for what's right, and sometimes that means people dying. But capital punishment is a different ball game, and I'm against it. Oklahoma is gonna bring back the gas chamber to execute death row inmates, and Utah is all set to go back to death by firing squad. Why the change of methods? Because the drugs they use for lethal injections, the most popular method in the US for the last 30 years, are not so easy to get hold of these days. Since 2000, there's been growing pressure on the drugs companies in the US and in Europe not to sell their products to help kill people. But execution by lethal injection is also the most likely method to go wrong. In Oklahoma 2014, it took Clayton Lockett 45 minutes to die, groaning in agony. But the problem ain't really about how you do it. At least 4% of death row inmates are likely to be innocent. Over 150 inmates in the last 40 years were lucky enough to be exonerated before their execution. So how many weren't so lucky and were injected or electrocuted or gassed before their names could be cleared? Over the same period of time, 1,500 inmates have been executed in the US, over a third of them in Texas alone. And who are these people? They're black and they're poor. Black defendants are three times more likely to be sentenced to death than white defendants. 80% of death row prisoners have been executed for killing a white victim, even though half the victims of murder are themselves black. The system sucks. The good news is that 18 states in the US have got rid of the death penalty and another eight put a moratorium on it. That still leaves the other half of them though. As Sandra Reed, mother of death row inmate Rodney Reed said, I will not give up this fight. There are too many innocent men that have gone, that are waiting, and that will go if we don't stop this murdering machine. Amen to that. <laughs>